Hi, welcome. Today I'm talking about 15 rarely shared symptoms that can be caused by menopause. We often hear about the classic changes like hot flashes, weight gain, anxiety, and brain fog. And the not so classic but still common changes like poor digestion, insomnia, cycle changes, and facial hair. But that's just a drop in the bucket. There are over a hundred possible symptoms and I want to go through a list of the ones that many women complain about but are rarely discussed. I'm sure you're already aware of this, but it has to be said before we get started. Please have your doctor rule out other potential causes for symptoms before assuming it's menopause. Menopause is one cause. I'm starting with dizziness because I hear from women every week concerned about lightheadedness and disequilibrium. They tell me the doctor can't find any reason for it, but they frequently feel off-balanced and woozy. I've experienced it myself, especially in perimenopause. I would get a rush of heat up the back of my neck and feel as if I was going to pass out, although I never did, and then it would just as quickly disappear. I also felt as if I might tip sideways sometimes. I still occasionally deal with that one, if I'm being honest. Number two is weird, unexplained breakouts. Bumps, rashes, welts, and splotches that appear magically for no apparent reason, leaving you convinced that you have a house full of fleas or something. I don't get them often anymore, but I used to get these tiny red bumps on my legs that would appear in sets of three or four, and they were unbelievably itchy. I can't tell you the amount of times I went looking for bugs. Chalk it up to reactive skin when estrogen and collagen drop. Next is frozen shoulder and tendinitis. Both are common when hormones shift, but doctors almost never tie them to menopause. Other things can obviously cause either one just like any symptom, but menopausal women are at much higher risk of developing them. Frozen shoulder was my introduction to perimenopause, and golfer's elbow and tennis elbow followed. I was just falling apart and had no idea why. HRT can help if you can use it. I can't, but fortunately a quality liquid collagen is making a huge difference for me. Number four is breast soreness that can be so uncomfortable that wearing a bra is impossible. The discomfort can even spread into the armpit. I very rarely experience the breast tenderness now that I'm in postmenopause, but I still refuse to wear a bra. They're still uncomfortable even now. Only sports tops for me. If you're experiencing any breast related symptoms, please have it checked out. But if you're otherwise healthy, you can likely blame perimenopause. Restless legs has to be on the list as well. Heaviness, twitching, odd sensations, and an overwhelming urge to move the legs is more common for women during menopause. A nutrient deficiency can also play a role though, so please have things like iron, vitamin D, and magnesium checked out before considering menopause. I still struggle with restless legs and it makes sleeping and relaxing very challenging. Number six is tooth pain. This started happening to me a couple of years ago. I went to the dentist several times thinking I had a cavity or an infection, but my teeth were fine. I was so confused because my teeth were definitely hurting and I've heard similar stories from other women. I believe the effects of shifting hormones and collagen loss on the jaw, gums, and saliva production play a role in tooth pain in midlife. Next is high cholesterol. We've had several discussions in my group about surprise hikes in cholesterol in midlife. It's super common but rarely talked about. Once the body slows down production of estrogen, which normally helps regulate lipid metabolism, cholesterol starts to rise. My cholesterol levels are higher too. Focusing on fiber can help usher out cholesterol and omega-3 can be beneficial as well. Keep in mind that cholesterol is essential to health for a list of reasons, including creating bile, vitamin D and estrogen, and building and repairing tissue. Also, the brain is the most cholesterol-rich organ in the body, so please do lower cholesterol, but not too much. Number eight is itchiness. This symptom should be on the classic list because so many women are driven mad by it. I'm talking about levels of itchiness that will cause you to scratch yourself to bleed and make it very hard to concentrate on anything else. And adding clothing to the mix can be torturous. I hated my clothes for a couple of years. 
A good collagen supplement and putting fragrance-free lotion on after every shower has tamed my itchiness substantially, which is a blessing because clothing is not optional. Burning mouth syndrome is also on the list. It involves burning of the tongue, lips, roof of the mouth, and sometimes throat. It can be very uncomfortable and I believe dry mouth may be partly responsible. Saliva production does decrease when estrogen drops. I deal with this particular symptom and I notice that certain foods make it worse. I also frequently have sore throats which I think may be related. Feeling your tongue and lips burn with or without the sore throat is very upsetting and distracting. If you deal with this particular symptom, I'm sorry. Number 10 is dry eyes and blurriness. This symptom continues to bother me to this day. I've had my eyes checked so many times since perimenopause and they continue to be an issue for me in postmenopause. I'm now sporting trifocals and using daily drops, but my eyes continue to do weird and not so wonderful things. Next is nausea that can come in waves or sit in the background. I went through a period of frequent low-grade nausea and it was horrible. I wasn't nauseous enough to feel like I might throw up, but I felt queasy enough that it got in my way and made functioning a challenge and uncomfortable. I dealt with more nausea in perimenopause than I did when I was pregnant. Digestion is affected in several ways when hormones shift in midlife, and nausea is one of the most disruptive in my opinion. Also disruptive are glitchy senses which need to be talked about way more. Menopause can really affect your eyes, ears, nose, and mouth, and many women, myself included, find they can't trust their senses anymore. Seeing things that aren't there, smelling things that no one else in the room smells, hearing things that don't make sense, and tasting foods in all the wrong ways. Sometimes I'm convinced I'm losing it, and judging by the looks on my kids' faces when these experiences occur, they're wondering if I'm a few crayons short of a rainbow pack too. Number 13 is frequent bruising. Loss of collagen is increased further when estrogen drops and the skin becomes so fragile and thin that it bruises much more easily. I sometimes find bruises and I have no idea how they got there. And heaven forbid I actually bang myself. The resulting bruises make it look like I've been in an accident. Taking liquid collagen twice a day is really helping to minimize the mystery bruises, but they still do pop up here and there. Loss of coordination and clumsiness has to be on the list as well. Becoming klutzy and accident prone in menopause is very common, but not on the list of classic symptoms. Decreases in depth perception, concentration, spatial awareness, and balance can really have you fumbling around. Tripping, dropping things, knocking things over, ramming into things, and misjudging corners are all typical. Sometimes my clumsiness is so ridiculous and over the top that I just sit there laughing at myself, even though I'm beyond annoyed. I'm sure there are other symptoms that don't get enough attention and should be included on the list. Those 14 are just the ones that stood out for me. Feel free to add more in the comments. Let's talk about all the symptoms menopause can gift us with, not just the classics. I wish health, happiness, and peace of body and mind for each of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.